So, so today we are going to start the HANA SPS upgrade using the SUM tool. Using the SUM tool, how to start, how to do the patching, how to do the upgrade of the our SAP systems. SUM tool is the one of the upgrade manager tool. So we can upgrade all our above and Java systems in single tool. So one patch or bulk patches, so we can upgrade it to avoid the downtime. So we can upgrade the some we can upgrade the SAP systems using the sum tool here, right? So normally, otherwise we have to use the spam and saying to update the components one by one. So dependency calculations. So there is a lot of groundwork we have to do while updating this spam and same. But for updating from using the some tool, so there is very simple and also uh, automatically the some tool will calculate the dependency patches also, right? Bulk patches we can update it here. Then what are the preparation activities we have to do for upgrading the some tool here? So that is called the pre steps. Some tool pre steps. So what are the pre steps we have to carry out here? So to perform the this pre step in the some tool. The first of all, so our system should be up to date in the solution manager. Our system should be up to date or in the maintenance planner. Our system should be up to date in our maintenance planner itself here. So system like SAP system should be should be up to date the system component system up to date means system component version should be up to should be up to date up to date in so solman solman system solman solution manager system or at least if you don't have solution manager then at least at least in the service marketplace in the maintenance planner maintenance planner then explore systems explore systems there our system should be up to date here either in the solution manager it's up to date or in the maintenance planner it's up to date here either solution manager or maintenance planner so here normally every system every system will connect to the uh, sld solman sld suppose your sap system suppose like ecp through RZ70, we will push the data to so Solman SLD here. So here Solman SLD too. So automatically the the Solman LMDB LMDB will take care of from here to so here to the Solman LMDB here will push the data to the service marketplace in the maintenance planner. It will push the data. This way we push the data from here automatically the data will be available in the service market maintenance planner here. Otherwise, directly we can generate the system information file. We can upload it here. How we have to do it, I will explain it. Okay. So the, the main bottom line is here. The system should be up to date in the solution manager or maintenance planner. Then, so why? What is the reason here for calculation of the maintenance plan? stack.xml file stack.xml file here so there are some preparation activities for doing the upgrade using the sum tool for some tool for doing the upgrade from the sum tool so there should be some preparation activities here so the first one is anytime we can do it is a mandatory free step here right then once you once you have done it then then generate the generate the stack dot stack configuration file stack xml file from the so solution manager maintenance planner generate the stack dot xml file from the solution manager here generate the stack dot xml file from the solution manager in the maintenance planner here right so we have to generate that xml file here for target patch level what is the target patch level what is the source patch level what components you are going to update for that one, all those things we need to generate the stack.xml file. That is the key file for the so sum tool. That is the key file for the sum tool here, right? So then, 
that is the key file very very important file then push the push the once you generate it once you generate it we need to there is an option push the software packages to so download manager then we can download we can download all the patches all the patches at a time at a time we can download all the patches at a time instead of single then so move the patches to the move the patches to the application server level where you are going to do that one then in the application server level check the check the free space check the free space uh, app level and db level application level db level why because you are updating the sap system so there should be a some free space should be required here right check the free space move the patches right so these are the main thing here then one more thing here there is a sm13 so we need to we need to we need to clear the failed update records if any if any failed update records we need to clear it here so then yeah, in smq1 in smq1 so mcex queues mcex queues the queues name is it mcex queues so if any mcx queues start so we need to process we need to so process the we need to process the queues we need to process the so stuck process the the stuck entries stuck entries especially for the ecc systems that is a very important here right smq1 and smq2 so smq2 this if anything stuck we need to check this one then also if any transports transports in sc09 open repairs if any transports are in the repairs so we need to unlock those things unlock or unlock or repair those transports those transports here then if any inactive objects in sc80 so we need to we need to fix it we need to fix it here okay if any inactive objects in sc80 we need to fix it if any old spdd or spau entries we need to we need to fix it by checking with the functional or development team we need to check it this the all those things here right so we need to check and also while updating here so your spam version should be up to date should be up to date up to date here should be up to date this is the optional it's not much required but it is the optional so then the 12th step the 12th step is spam version is should be up to date if any old spdd spa entries we need to fix it if any inactive objects in se80 we have to fix it so all those things we have to carefully check these are the all are the preparation activities all are the preparation activities we have to perform it here right and also host agent sap the host agent host agent update also is required update also required we need to update the sap host agent also here so just sap host agent update we can perform it here right so these all are the checks we need to perform before we perform the sap upgrade here the first one our system should be up to date in the solution manager solution manager our system should be up to date our solution manager our system should be up to date here so then otherwise in the service parquet explore system should be up to date so if the system is not exist if the system if the if you don't have solution manager or if the system is not exist if the system is not exist suppose you don't have the system or so solman not exist in our landscape then we have to manually we have to manually 
add the system in service marketplace. So that I will explain it how to do that one, right? Then generate it, move the patches then. So we'll check the all the free, free steps one by one here in our SAP systems here, right? So for this one, what we have to do, first of all, go to SM13 here, check the, are there any open repairs here? Are there any old stuck entries here? Yes, we have one failed update record here. One failed update record is available here. So these things we need to clean up here. We need to clean up these things here, right? And also in the SMQ1 or Q2, there is a, some queues, MCX queues should not be stuck here. This stack, we need to inform them to, we need to inform to process those queues here. Means we need to check with the functional team to process those queues. So currently we don't have anything here. So in SE01 or 09, there should not be a, any open repairs transports, any open repairs transports here. So we have the open repair transports are available here. So those transports, we need to unlock them. And also check for the all the users here. Check for all the users here. Any open repair transports, nothing is there here, right? So nothing, no transports, nothing here. So then <clears throat> SE80, check any inactive objects here. SE80, check any inactive, inactive objects here. Not only basis user, just to give the star, just to review the, if any inactive objects, it will give the clear information here. So those things we have to perform it in the system here. Then we have to decide the target patch levels. We have to decide the, the target patch level from which patch level to which patch level you are planning to upgrade. So from this version 1 to 16 or 1 to 17, from which version to which version you are planning to upgrade your SAP systems? Or what, 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 what you are going to upgrade? Entire components you are going to upgrade? Or only specific components you are going to upgrade? So what you are going to do in your SAP systems? Those things, so we need to carefully plan it here. Those things we have to carefully plan in our systems here. Those things we have to carefully plan in our systems here. Okay, those are the things we have to check before we proceed the upgrade, actual upgrade here, right? So, now what we have to do, now what we have to do, so we have done the prerequisite now, but especially expect this system maintenance planner session here. So, now we will calculate the maintenance planner session now. Okay, so maintenance planner session now. Now we are going to calculate the maintenance planner session. That is the very, very, very important step. That is the maintenance planner session here. So for this one, what we have to do, we need to log into the service marketplace. We need to log into the service marketplace here. So let me log into the service marketplace here. Okay, for logging, so let me pass. Yes. So after the maintenance planner session completed, so we have all the prerequisites we have performed. Then let's assume we also downloaded the all the patches into the market here. So here in the sum tool, in the sum tool we have the version here. So sum tool we have the version here. So sum tool version here. Sum we have the 1.0 and sum 2.0 also available here. Sum 1.0. Some 2.0 here. Some 1.0 is not there now. They have migrated to the upgraded to the some 1.1 now. So your Netweaver version, your NW version 7.5 below, we need to use the some 7, some 1.1, 1 1.1 .1 below. So if your Netweaver version 7.5 or 7.5 plus, then we can use the some 2.0 we have to use it here. 7.5 or plus above. Then we need to use the sum version. This, this is the sum rule we have to use it here. Okay. So this is the one here. Previously we have the 1.0. Now we don't have any 1.0. We have the 1.1. Then is the 7.5 below. Then we have to use the 1.1. 7.5. So 2.5 plus 
then we have to use this one here. We have to use the this one here. So let's see here in our system. So suppose we have the ECD patches. We are going to update the our ECD system here, right? In the ECD systems, we have the some 2.0 is available. What does it mean 2.0? Which means our ECD system version is 7.5, right? 7.5. So so we are good to use the we are good to use the 7.5. Our network version release version is the 7.50. So we are good to use the so this so this our some 2.0 here. So now what we have to do all the pre work completed, stack that XML file generated, then all the patches we have downloaded. So then what is the next step here? What is the next step here? We have to perform it in the system here. The next step which we are going to update is start the some tool, some tool starting procedure, some tool starting procedure here so let's talk only this step how to start the sum tool now sum tool starting procedure here how to start the sum tool here so how to start the sum tool here so copy the copy the sum tool copy the sum tool from your download directory download directory to and under usr under usr sap sid then so once you copy it then extract the sum tool extract the sum tool using sap car command once you extract it so then we need to start the we need to start the sum tool using sum start some start space config post agent space SID in the administrator command prompt mode. We have to start it here, right? So then open the open the URL in a browser. So then proceed with the steps here. Proceed with the roadmap steps here. Roadmap steps. So this is the one guarantee compulsory portion. How to start the sum tool. And also, what are the preparation steps you have to proceed before you upgrade it? What are the three steps you will perform or prerequisites you will perform? So all those information they may ask you. So you need to answer all those things here, right? Now copy the sum tool from from here to your USR SAP SID, right? Copy the sum tool here. Here we have the kernel. Why this many kernels? Unnecessarily space based. Right? So we have copied to the here. Then extract the sum tool here. Extract the sum tool here. Then what we have to do? Normally, all these activities we have to perform from the SID ADM user here. SID ADM user here. That is the very important here. Otherwise, we can perform it here. But the thing is, you need the SAR file. You need to you need the SAR file you required here, right? SAR file you required here, right? Here, so ECD, we are going to update it here. Just click on the enter button here, right? SAP car iPad XDF, the sum 20 star dot SAR file. This is for the extracting the sum tool here, extracting the sum tool here. I think need to mention full name. Not required, but is it okay? And this is the one. Let me extract with the SID ADM user. That is the one good thing we can do it here. Otherwise, we may face this type of issues. So. Always extraction, kernel upgrades, all those things you have to perform with the SID EDM only. That is the very important thing here, right? SCP car, I for next year, what is this thing? 
हम टू जीरो स्टार डॉट एस के आर नौ the wrong file means yeah this is the one so it's that is not the correct file that is only one kb here that is not the sar file here see here that is not the sar file here so always we need to go to the here and we need to extract the sum tool from here right sap car right so we need to extract it from here so now execute it now execute the command here now it will work here see here now sum tool is getting extracted so while sum tool is getting extracted it will create the one folder called the sum folder sum folder it will create it here sum folder it will create it here sum folder it will create it here so that is the main thing here so so here some tool is getting extracted then it is creating the one folder that is called the sum folder here some folder will create the multiple sum folders it will create it here so we need to keep the sum file some sar file under usr sap sid then we need to extract it it will create the one sum folder here one sum folder it will create it here see here it is creating It will extract the files. Yeah, how many files are getting extracted here? Many files. That's why they will make it as the dot sar file here. Dot sar file here. Dot sar. So that is the reason they will make it as a dot sar. Why? Because if they provide to us in a single single file, some to suppose if you miss sometimes, so it will be the sum tool will not run. That's why how we will make it as a zip and we will send to the respective person. So it's SAP. So that's why SAP all files are in the form of dot dot SAR. So it's in the dot SAR format. So this. Uh, uh... Some tool, uh, SAR file we are downloading from the marketplace and putting on the application server. <clears throat> any file, any SAP software, any patch, or any component, anything in the SAP marketplace, we have to download it. We don't have any other places. Only one thing, SAP marketplace. Anything, not only some file, not only SAR file, not only SAP patch, anything, anything SAP related. Anything we have to download from the SAP marketplace. See here how many files are there. Still, it is getting extracted. So, where are these extracted files? Means it's there in the sum under the above ERC. Many folders or files are created. Under here, 
these folders or files are getting loaded here. All our JS files, all the coding related, all files are getting loaded here in these files. Single step we have written here like this extract the sub tool. So, this is single step. See how much time it is taking. Copy the sub tool from the from download directory to USRSCP SID. Any upgrade, any SID, they have to follow the same procedure. Now, start the sub tool here. This is the command we have to use it here. This is the very, very important command. So, people will ask sometimes what is the command to start the sub tool? Some start space config for stage and space SID. Then it will generate the one URL. We have to open the URL in the browser. I think it's going to complete now. Okay, so 15,014 files are extracted here, right? So the files are got extracted here. So now we need to start the sum tool here, all right? So sum tool is extracted. Now we need to start the sum tool here. How to start the sum tool means, so we have to open the command prompt. It is the Windows, right? So in Windows, we have to open the command prompt in the administrator mode. If it is the line X, we need to start in the root user. The Windows level, who is the top user? It is the administrator. In the Linux level, root is the user, the top user here. Then we have to go to the USR SAP SID here, here CD. Then we have to execute it. C drive. Okay. Right. So, oh, sorry. I went to the different here. CD slash USR SAP SID then sum. Right? You have to go to the up to here, sum directory. USR SAP SID sum. So here go to the above. Right? You have to go to the above again CD, then above folder here. Right? So then what next here? Then you need to execute the command sum start some start space config host agent space then SID right so this is the command we have to execute it got it right so this is a very important to start the sum tool means we have to uh, some start space config host agent space SID we have to use this one so for only this one right what is the syntax means config host agent means this is the SAP host agent means we are registering the sum, sum tool into the host agent. And what is the SID? This is the SID here. Why? Because sum tool will not directly talk to the our SAP system. It will talk to via host agent only. So that's why we are registering the sum tool here. Then just click on the enter button. Then it will see here. It will it will register into the it will register into the it will register that it will generate the one URL here. One generate the one URL here. So system is not configured SAP SID. So, so okay. I'm in the administrator mode. My bad. I have to log in through SID ADM user.
right see here now it is it generated the one url here you can see here maybe it's not uh, clearly visible for you guys so i think so you can see here it is generated the sum above url here url is generated right one url is generated i just copied the url and then open the url from the browser here then here then open proceed with the unsafe option here sid adm then proceed with the your user here SID ADM, then, then password, then some tool will open the screen. Some screen will be opened. Same way. So the port number is the 1128. For the SWPM, we have the 423. What is the port number for the SWPM tool? 4237. 4237. Right? That is for the installation purpose. Then after the installation, we need to upgrade our systems, right? What is the tool we have to use it here for upgrading the systems? Some tool. What is the port number for the some tool? These are the questions, interview questions they may ask you. What are the port number for the in the some tool? Double one, two nine. is the port number here. So, like this, we need to start our we need to start our systems here. This is the some tool version here, right? So here see some stack.xml file we have to give it here stack configuration file we have to give it here stack configuration without giving this one you cannot proceed further definitely the key file is important then how you generated the key file as part of the preparation step so we first step we have written we need to generate the stack.xml file how we have to generate the maintenance planner we need to generate the stack.xml file here so this is the way we need to generate it here okay so up to here, we are clear. So right, three steps starting the sum tool. Then, then some execute, some, some proceeding. How to then proceed with the next step here. That we will discuss in the, so in the tomorrow's class here. Okay. I think tomorrow 